Hello, my name is Elisa Sach and I study electrical and electronics engineering in Kent University. My physics uh, 102 section is 2. So uh, today I'll be uh, talking about our lab project building an AC generator. First of all, I will introduce and describe our setup. We have a coil inserted in a wooden hollow wooden box. It will be our support and rendering. And inside the wooden box, we have a coil which has a box, which has 800 turns of copper wire around it. And inside the wire, we have a magnet which has 700 microtesla's of magnetic field. And uh, the magnet is connected to a nail which is also then connected to the uh, drill. And we'll be turning the drill in uh, adjust to different frequencies so we can actually calculate the different voltage values and different frequency of turning the magnet. And uh, so our uh, objective in this experiment to obtain, is to obtain a voltage versus time graph with a sinusoidal fashion. Uh, and in order to do that, uh, we'll, our, our voltage values will be measured by a multimeter. In order to precisely measure the frequency of turning magnet uh, and the corresponding voltage values, we'll record our process of measurement with a 960 frames per second slow motion camera. Uh, now I will shortly demonstrate the process of our measurement. Here is our drill and we adjust it to the slowest frequency. Here is our drill and we adjust it to the slowest frequency. So you can see the... which proves that we will have a sinusoidal uh, passion of voltage gravity. So uh, this is how we obtain our experimental values. Uh, after obtaining the graph, we will use the formula, uh, the equations that you can see here, which end is the uh, loop of the number of coils around the copper wire around the coil. B is our magnetic field, which is 700 microteslas. A is the uh, cross-sectional area of the coil. And omega, as you know, is the um, rotational velocity. So to arbitrarily get a voltage value, to calculate a voltage value in the graph, we can use the uh, equation uh, of E0 times sinus uh, omega t, which in t is our time in seconds. Um, in order to conclude, to conclude our experiment, we can say that after uh, calculating the values, we'll obtain a obtain our errors, which may have been because of uh, the coil, because the, the coil is handily crafted and is not as precise and, um, in order as it wanted to be. And second of all, uh, our multimeter is not as sensitive as we think of it, and so it can also create some uh, errors in our measurements. Uh, also, you, as you listened before, when we are drilling, the wooden box causes some rattling, and this may also cause some frequencies and inconsistencies. Thank you for listening to me.